Uh, good day everybody, it's uh, Mountain Man Mike here with an initial gear review of my new uh, Catabatic Gear Alset Quilt. And I uh, have it right here in this organic cotton stuff uh, storage sack that they send with the, every quilt that you buy. Um, it's very big and generous. And uh, let's start unpacking this thing. So here we have, I have a brand new 22 degree Alsec quilt from Catabatic Gear. It is the 6 foot 6 model and it is the wide version. Um, it weighs in on my scale at 27.2 ounces, which is 0.2 ounces heavier than the listed. But I'm not going to worry about that at all. Um, so let's get into what's included when you uh, buy one of these quilts. So they give you a little instruction sheet right here that um, talks about how to use the cord, the locking cords on it, and then um, just some little general information. I'll get more into that later. They also include this uh, sil nylon stuff sack, which is a nice thing to have as well. I usually don't use a stuff sack when I'm out on the trail, but it's a nice thing that they give you for free when you buy one of their quilts. And they have this little loop right here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but when you're trying to pull the quilt out, you can put your finger through that loop and then, you know, start unpacking the uh, quilt. Also what they include is they include this um, two millimeter uh, cord for wrapping it around your sleeping pad. And I'll show you more about that. They give you uh, an extra set as well. My other one's on my uh, sleeping pad. Next is they give you these gross grain straps to use. If you do not want to use their attachment system for t attaching it to your sleeping pad. And we'll get back into uh, that. Alright, so let's get into some of the features that this quilt has up close. So right here is an overfilled draft collar, which is a nice feature to have on any sleeping bag in my opinion really. Especially when you get bags that are 30 degrees and below. Um, it has this little draw cord right here. Now you can cinch this up around one's neck and then as you can see here is the lock closure that goes behind your back or neck. It uses these two straps right here, or two buttons, my bad. Two buttons that are pretty heavy duty and when I was tr testing the bag out, I couldn't even tell that they were there. And then, like I said, this is the 6 foot 6 model. It is on a long Neo Air X Lite, the wide version. And so it tapers along just perfectly for me. On the back side of this quilt, here you can see the opening right here. Here are the uh, cord where you attach the um, two millimeter cord. There's one here and one on the other side. And then we got one right here and over there. And then here is one of the gross grain straps that is adjustable. You can pull it, tighten it cinch it up real nice if it's a really cold night or if you're trying to prevent drafts. And then um, another feature is um, here is I'm going to go ahead and show you it being attached to a sleeping pad. So here I have, it focuses, there is the two millimeter cord and then here you would attach it on here and I'm going to go ahead and attach that so I'm going to pause the video right here. Alright, so I got it attached at two different points. I can show you the differences between it being locked and not locked. So as you can see in this position right here, it's in the unlocked position. So you can move it back and forth, you know, allows you more freedom of movement when you're laying on your bag and sleeping at night. So if you're a rotisserie sleeper, you know, it's, it's got to move with you. And then over here, I locked one in place so you guys can see right here their focus it doesn't you know it doesn't want to move as much like it's on the actual cord but you can clip that out so another thing you might be asking is what is this little loop right here and this little clip it's also up here as well on right there and right here so if you wanted to use the the gross grain straps instead of the uh, clip right here you would you know thread through here and you could also attach this onto here to make it even you know 
batten down the hatches if you're expecting an extra cold night. It'll help seal out any drafts that could come into your bag if you're sleeping at night. So another feature is about this bag is it's a, a Pertex Quantum Y fabric. Um, it's pretty durable in my opinion from other Pertex bags I have and it's a quite breathable material as well. It is super, super buttery soft and it's just, it's, it's just a nice bag to have against your skin or if you're, you know, if you wear base layers, it's just an all around awesome bag. I can't wait to use it. Got a few trips coming up here and I'll be videoing those as well and so keep your eyes out for uh, new videos coming up for me. Um, let's go ahead and stuff it into the stuff sack so we can see uh, what it looks like in there like that. Alright, let's go ahead and get this uh, bag into the uh, stuff sack. So there you have it, there it is in its stuff sack. Here's that um, little loop I was talking about earlier. You know, to put your finger in there, you know, you wanna unpack this out. That's a good way to um, not drop it when you're uh, taking it apart. Um, so, the reason why I went with a catabatic gear over something like an enlightened equipment or local Libre gear or underground quilts was just that they're really rated very conservatively. I'm a very warm sleeper, so a 20 degree bag is probably gonna be good down to like 10 or 15 degrees for me personally, especially if I'm wearing like a light base layer. And then, um, it's just like, I just you hear good things about these bags. It's a top quality, top quality, um, top shelf sleeping quilt. My previous bag is a Feather Friends bag, and if you know about my feather friends, they're they're American made and up in Seattle. They're a great quality bag. Um, I have a money bag from them. It's a 30 degree bag. I love it. But I want it to lighten up. So this thing's about eight ounces lighter than what I'm previously using, and I'm getting a 22 degree bag compared to a 30. So there you have it, folks. There is the Catabatic Gear Alsec 22 degree quilt. Uh, it's a six foot six model, and it's the wide version. Um, can't wait to try it out. Uh, if you have any questions about it or questions about what I like about it or don't like about it, hopefully I'll get back to you guys soon about that. And please subscribe to my channel and happy hiking.